So we'll talk about calculus and yes. also uh, differential equations, yes. linear algebra, right? Yes, yes. What are the classes after that? Huh? The upper division classes. Ooh, I mean. okay. Ah, usually, okay. usually those are for the students who want to major in math, either pure yes. or yes. applied. Definitely. Right? So if yeah. you like calculus, I strongly recommend you to take analysis because that's the, basically the adult version of calculus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, it, yes, I know, I know, like for example, epsilon deltas are scary, but once you take analysis, which is just an epsilon delta bootcamp, I promise you that epsilon deltas become easy to you. And like, mm -hmm. you're like this very, like a marathon runner. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 okay. So I highly recommend this to you. And, and I really like differential equations. I might be biased, but I really like differential equations. So highly recommend to take a theory of differential equations mm -hmm. class. And also, if you like the the computations, especially mm -hmm. in calculus, uh, after you take analysis, you can take complex analysis, <laughs> which is just like heaven because it, you have to show us how to do an integral with yeah. complex numbers. Oh yeah, that's sure, goal. that's the so integral, much fun. Like, and the proper integral is the one over yeah, one yeah, yeah. plus x to fourth power from negative yeah, yeah. infinity to infinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. You yeah, can do, do this that. very easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Koshi Rimon, right? Yes, Koshi Rimon. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Do you like number theory or probability? Oh, like <laughs> I'm not the good person to ask. Uh, Sure, if, if sure? you like, okay. uh, yeah, if, if you like abstract stuff, you can take abstract algebra. But I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not a fan. Of, as I said, there are people who like vanilla ice cream, there are people who like chocolate ice cream. You know, you know? any math. That I you mean, like. I love math. You uh -huh. know, but it's just there's math I like more than other math. What's your least favorite what? one? Then? Abstract algebra. I mean, it's not. I know. I mean, I like the upper division one, the graduate version. I don't mm -hmm. like much. I think for mine, it would be geometry. The geometry, like the classic one, is so hard. Oh yeah, that too. Geometry is hard, especially you have to learn it pretty much the old way, the old stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, such a case, it's, it's one of the topics. I mean, if you like math in general, uh -huh. you might like geometry because it has, especially if you take like uh, uh, graduate geometry and stuff, it, it's, uh -huh. a, it's a mix of a little bit of everything. Differential geometry, all yeah, that. Yeah, like abstract algebra, linear algebra, a little analysis, topology, it's a little bit of that. Right, so the next thing, what would you suggest for a student who is interested to major in math? So Ooh. what are the prep work that he or she has to do first? Go Depends on right. your level, okay? Uh -huh. Because if you're a very strong student, I know a lot of departments, they try to make you take all the lower division math classes and stuff. If you think you got it, I would actually recommend taking more of upper division math classes because mm -hmm. there's where the really exciting stuff happens. And mm -hmm. the problem is if you take too much time with lower division math, then um, then you have very little time to take the very exciting classes. And in fact, that's sort of what I did. Uh, I just took them very quickly my first semester, and then I was like in math heaven. So that's fun. Especially wow. if there's less competition, less mm -hmm. pressure. Like everyone's just buddies with each other. Really. Yeah. And uh, however, if you feel that you need more, you know, time, don't worry. Take your time. You know, it, it's fine. Yeah. So next, can you please share with us that how your life was well, as a PhD student? When you're in Berkeley. Okay, so that's a lot of fun because uh -huh. basically the first year was heaven. <laughs> because basically, uh -huh. because you, <laughs> you basically, all the stress that you had in uh -huh. undergrad about courses, about getting A's and stuff, uh -huh. all this disappears. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if you don't like a class, you have until the last week of classes to drop that class. Really? Yeah, yeah. So wow. if you don't like it, just drop, drop so it that's like that's a the difference. Top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's the difference between undergrad and graduate. Yeah, yeah. Really? Like, I didn't they, know about they, that. Plus, they don't care about grades. Like, not at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean the students don't care about the grades for the yeah. professor? No, the students, but like, no one cares if you get a B in grad school and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because basically, first of all, it's so much easier to get an A in grad classes and mm -hmm. stuff. After all, I think it just becomes an automatic A. Yeah, yeah. But also, <laughs> yeah, you don't get kicked out. Right? And like, unless you have C's all the time, which is it's not possible. But uh, anyway, and then... Uh, that and yeah, and all the stress. It's like you, like you made it, you know. You made it to grad school, mm -hmm. you know. Like, like 
everyone just cares about learning. There's no competition at all and everything. And so that was heaven. Like I could actually start cooking at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so, yeah. and plus there's also the teaching experience, which is just amazing, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that was the first year. Then the second year become very, very, very stressful because at least in Berkeley you had to take this qualifying exam, mm -hmm. which is just an exam about everything you know about your field of expertise, like partial differential equations. And it's a three hour oral exam you take in front of three professors, three wow. or four professors, which is like, I swear, it's maybe the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. Wow. But I'm a PhD now, <laughs> exactly. so yeah, so, yeah. I, I know. <laughs> I'm going to have the pictures around the screen right here now. Yes, yes. Um, you don't mind, I'll just I'll take a picture from your Facebook. Sure, okay, sure, so. sure, sure. That was nice, but like once I survived this, it was again very nice because you don't have to take any classes anymore. Mm, it's just like, research, you, you, right? just do this, you just do you know, you just read math books and stuff. However, after a while, I think it becomes very stressful, but in some other sense, because usually you're stressed out because you do a lot of work. Peach, it's a very slow process. You basically read papers, you bang your head a lot on the table because yeah, you can't find anything. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you just have to be extremely patient. But I promise you, like once you find something, it's the most beautiful feeling in the world. You feel so much smarter, I don't know. And then you get your PhD, which is like, oh my God. <laughs> what are the important things that a student should know when he or she is applying to grad school? I'm not a person of the grad school, school admission so I can't you know say uh -huh. this for right, sure right, but right. it seems to me what you really care about are your passion Definitely. so because the problem is you know you're an investment for them it's like mm -hmm. can it's sort of like their profit is if you get a PhD but like if you drop out because you can't handle it anymore that's their loss you know mm -hmm. so they really want to invest in someone who is like mm -hmm. who can survive five or six years of a PhD mm -hmm. you know so really you have to show them that you're able to survive five or six years of a PhD so you have to be you have to show them that you're incredibly motivated mm -hmm. and you can do this in various different ways you can take mm -hmm. lots of classes you know mm -hmm. show them that you can handle the stress you can get amazing letters of recommendation mm -hmm. people saying yeah you can handle it mm -hmm. or you can get great GRE scores that says you know you you know the basic basic math knowledge I think it's wrong to say that you have to get all A's like I didn't mm -hmm. I got lots of B pluses in my classes but I still got into grad school and it's mainly because as I said I was very motivated I took lots of grad classes mm -hmm. for example oh. yeah, yeah how's your <laughs> student choose his or her okay advisor? I think it's very important in grad school to figure out what topic you're interested in. Because that's yeah. the thing that, that helps you get a lot. For example, I love partial differential equations and I knew, actually I was lucky because I went to Berkeley also for grad school. So I knew there was this professor Evans mm -hmm. who was an amazing teacher and stuff, but also, yeah, also a very good advisor. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm saying, you know, like, I'm lucky that I knew that I wanted to partial differential equations mm -hmm. and that Professor Evans, at least in nonlinear partial differential equations, he's amazing. And so I'm glad I chose that topic. And Ooh. I'm just saying, be careful because I know there are some professors, they're very good teachers, but not that, that good at advisors. I mean, luckily Professor Evans was a good teacher and a good advisor, but I'm just saying, you know, don't just choose it because you think, you know, let's say you hate algebra, <laughs> but like, so but you, like you, have, you have this amazing algebra professor. Don't choose an algebra professor as an advisor just thinking, hey, maybe he'll make you love algebra and stuff. No, that's not the way to go. First, figure out your topic and mm -hmm. then figure out, yeah, yeah. Just a math joke. Okay, so that's one of my favorite math jokes. And so, uh -huh. the ex was walking down the street yes. okay I was really happy and stuff but suddenly there was this rain of differential operators which is basically weird functions that take functions as an input and return the derivative mm -hmm. like you know like, mm -hmm. like if it takes x squared as an input it two returns 2x yes. okay? and then e2 dx was like ah who cares i'm e2 dx if someone differentiates me mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the same thing and then suddenly there was this rain, this drop of differential operators saying, aha, I'm going to differentiate you. And e to the x is like, aha, no, you won't. I'm e to the x. And then the differential operator says, aha, but I'm d over dy. <laughs> and e to the x is like, no.
something. Maybe one day I have some videos on multivariable calculus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Maybe cool. e to the minus x squared, you can evaluate. Yeah, or yeah. negative infinity yes. to infinity. Yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> I just integrated square root of tangent x last night. Ah, I saw that. It's very uh -huh. exciting. Yeah, yeah. Makes you feel better. I didn't know how to do it before, but now I know. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you so much for the pleasure. I hope Hopefully. you have a chance to you know, come back to my YouTube channel again. And Definitely. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. He can read your comments as well. Share this video if you like it too. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>